The Congo Basin is the green heart of Africa and the second largest rainforest on the planet. It shelters a huge diversity of animals and plants and provides a livelihood for millions of people. A recent discovery is that this forest soil contains a treasure of crucial importance to our global climate. Peat is partially decomposed plant matter highly rich in carbon and it's exactly what these scientists are after. So at the moment uh, we're taking peat cores, so we've taken the core, taken a photo of it, made a description, now we're going to try and keep the core intact and whole. And then we'll transport that back to a lab and then it can be used for all sorts of analysis. Satellite data has suggested the Congo Basin contains a large area of peatland. Operating for the first time in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the researchers are looking to verify how much peat is there. The deeper the peat, the more carbon it contains and the more important in terms of climate change. So here we've got a peat sample from two and a half meters to three meters deep. So it's a surprise to see such depths here, which suggests that possibly after some more exploration, we might have to revise our estimates of how much carbon is stored in this basin, in the, in the central Congo Basin, upwards a little bit. The newly discovered peatland area is estimated to be larger than the size of England and store around 30 billion tonnes of carbon. That's the equivalent of three years the world's fossil fuel emissions. It would make the central Congo Basin the world's biggest tropical peatland. But this carbon vault is far from safe. So one of the core concerns in terms of the global carbon cycle is if peatland dries out. So it's incredibly important in terms of climate change that these peatlands stay intact and stay wet and waterlogged because that keeps the carbon locked up in the ecosystem rather than being released to the atmosphere. Peatlands will dry out if they're logged and drained to create oil palm plantations. Officially, deforestation in the Democratic Republic of the Congo is kept in check by a moratorium on new logging concessions. However, illegal logging, as well as pressure to lift the fragile moratorium, pose a serious threat to the peatland forest here. Environmental organization Greenpeace has been supporting the scientific research on the peatlands. It believes local communities should be given a key role in protecting these areas. Our demand is that the Congolese government and the buyers of funds who finance the Congolese government in the sector of the forest ne finance plus l'exploitation industrielle de bois, mais finance les initiatives de foresterie communautaire pour permettre aux communautés de protéger les tourbières qui sont aux environs d'eux. Valentin Angobo is the leader of an indigenous community living in and from the peatland forests. He hopes the recognition of these areas as globally important carbon stores may empower the communities as forest custodians. Nous et une population dépendante de la forêt. C'est là où nous tirons notre bénéfice et nous considérons la forêt comme étant une mère nourricière. Puisque là, il y a la pharmacopée. Là, il y a aussi euh, euh, les ramassages. Nos sites sacrés aussi sont euh, dans la forêt. Et si un PIA se trouve dans la forêt, il trouve sa vie, puisqu'il est dans son habitat naturel. So what I hope to come out from this research is that we think that there's as much carbon in these peatlands as there is in the whole Congo Basin forests. But we didn't really know exactly where they were before or how carbon rich. So now we do, then it's imperative that these are built into development plans. It needs to be protected if it's going to contribute to solutions to climate change. The scientists intend to return here next year to continue their work. In the meantime, it's hoped the international community will also recognize the importance of these peatlands and invest in their protection.